walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? What? Kicking what? in the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here. Apparently, to a few people that's on my channel, I'm not speaking to all of y'all. I'm just speaking to a few of y'all. Apparently, to a few people that watches my videos, they think I'm a racist. I've talked about this once before, about the Lomachenko shit. Now, it comes with the the pack the Pakistanis or the Amir Khan fans or whatever. Now I'm a racist for insulting Amir Khan. Look, man. I said, Amir Khan need to take his ass back to pack. I really don't got to explain shit to none of you motherfuckers, really, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? But let's just clear the air one last time. Somebody told me I shouldn't explain myself to you racists or whatever the fuck. Because, you know, a lot of times racists accuse you of being racist. They try to race bait you and shit. But, you know, this is my fucking channel. You got a problem, you can hit that unsubscribe button quick as fuck. I say whatever the fuck I want to say on my channel. No, I'm not racist. But you're not going to tell me what the fuck I'm going to say on my shit. It's my shit. So when you click on that video, just know you clicking on a Travis Gotti video. And I say whatever the fuck I want to say on my show. Now, last night I did a video about Amir Khan. And I said he need to take his ass back to Pakistan. Now, I didn't know if he was born in the UK or, or Pakistan. All I know is he Pakistani. I don't give a fuck about him enough to know where he was born at, the actual location. I just know his nationality. I thought that he was born over there and he repped for the UK, but he might have been born in Pakistan. I don't know his family history like you motherfuckers. I'm an American. He's over here in America. Basically, what I'm saying, he can take his bum ass the fuck out of America and go back to where the fuck he came from. That's what I'm saying. Just the same type of shit. If I was going over to the UK and I was causing problems, motherfucker might tell me, take your ass back to fucking America. Talking about, that's the equivalent of, of somebody telling you to go back to Africa. Look, man, I don't know if he, I ain't never been to Africa. American has been to Pakistan, whether he was born there or not. So that already shut your shit down. Shit, ancestors and shit, what, three, four, five hundred years ago, maybe. I don't know nothing about that shit. I was born in 1983 and been Harvard, Michigan, moved to Grand Rapids, Michigan when I was seven in 1990, moved to Los Angeles. Well, matter of fact, moved to Virginia Beach in 2001, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Moved back to Michigan, 2004, moved to Los Angeles, California, 2014. Shit. Besides, you know, I left the country when I was in the army and shit, but you know, I'm a fucking American. I fought for America, motherfuckers. And it's like every fucking fighter that I insult that's not black, I get called a racist. You know what, man? I tried real hard in the beginning, real hard, to try to prove to everybody that I wasn't biased. I'm not racist. I call everything down the line. I might even been a little bit harder on my own race. You know, just to just to prove, look, I'm trying to be fair here to everybody. I dealt with being called coons and shit because of it, everything. You know, but it didn't mean shit. Cause like, once I got fed up with Triple G shit, immediately I got called a racist by Triple G fans. Man, y'all wouldn't believe the shit storm that it caused. Once I finally turned on Triple G, man, you know, I mean, I was riding real hard for Triple G for a long time, man. I really believed in the guy. I still think he's a good fighter, but I also think he's full of shit, just like all the rest of these fighters in the sport. He's no different. He's not special. And, um, you know, from by the looks of it, he's becoming one of the most difficult boxers to negotiate with in boxing today. And once I turned on Triple G, man, motherfuckers. Like my channel growth, you know how y'all come to my channel and you see I have a little bit, a few more subscribers than I did the day before? Even if it's just 10 more subscribers or 15 more subscribers, it took at least seven days for me to gain subscribers. I was losing subscribers. Now, people were still probably subscribing. Let's just say I was getting 
10 subscribers a day, right? I was losing 15 a day. So I was losing. It took me at least a week. I think I want to say like 10 days for it to start gaining. You know what I'm saying? Gaining subscribers. All those comments on the motherfucking video when I like dissed the fuck out of Triple G and went hard on them. You know, and that's just like the first video when I turned on Triple G. You know, after like riding for him for months and shit, video after video, you know, all it took was one time for everybody to turn on me and call me a racist. Not only was I getting called a racist, but I was also being called racial slurs in the comments too. Go figure. And I didn't even say nothing racist about Triple G. Nothing. I just criticized him because I think I felt like he deserved to be criticized. You know, and then... um. This shit kind of recently popped up with the Lomachenko versus Nicholas Walters fight because I'm picking Nicholas Walters to win the fight. And um, now I'm racist because, you know, I think that a fighter who's six and one with a good amateur background is going to beat an undefeated professional who has what around 30 fights or something like that. That makes me racist. No, man. That just means that y'all following this hype job a little bit too much or y'all only see race. You see me picking the black fighter over the white fighter. That's what you see, ain't it? It, it don't matter like about their skills in the ring, what they've accomplished, what they've done. When you you know that I'm black, you know that that fighter is black, and you know that Lomachenko is white, and you think in your head that he's picking him because he's black. You the racist one, because only racists think like that, man. I done told, and then even in that same fucking video, when I was talking to you racists and shit, responding to that shit, motherfuckers still had the nerve to try to call me a racist in those comments. Or say, and, and say, oh yeah, yeah, man, I hardly ever see you pick a white fighter over a black fighter when I picked two white fighters over two black fighters in that same motherfucking video. I said that I believe that Kovalev would beat Andre Ward, but I don't know because he's been acting real suspect lately, like he don't believe in himself. I've said that I believe Kovalev was going to knock out Ward numerous of times. I just, I'm not sure about my pick, but that's my pick. And I've said that Triple G could probably beat Daniel Jacobs. I just want to see the fight. I think it's a close fight, but I think that he would beat him. And motherfuckers in that video still had the nerve to try to say that I was racist or I never pick a white fighter over a black fighter. Now, it's done spilled over to the Pakistanis and um, Amir Khan. I mean, when is it going to end? When is it going to stop? Do y'all realize that, like, I don't give a fuck enough to be racist? Like, I got my own life, my own shit that I care about. You know, I don't, I don't fucking, I ain't got to get on here and be racist to, to, for what? Before I do that, I won't get on here at all. I ain't put up a front. It ain't worth shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it's like, if, if I wanted to be fake, then I would just be kissing Americans' ass. Be kissing Triple G's ass. Be kissing all of these white fighters' ass. That's what people do on here. Pretend to be a pack tar. That's what people do to grow their channel and get subscribers and get views and shit. Yeah, that's how you grow your channel. And somebody was saying, yeah, man, you just, you know, want the, that news came out. This is another thing. That news came out about Amir Khan um, being allowed to keep his mandatory shot. But you just wanted to get on here and talk trash about him to get all of these views and shit. Dude, I get views on every fucking video. Haven't you noticed? You know, most, like, damn near... 95% of my view videos get like thousands of views. It didn't matter. And um, I was getting a lot of views when I was praising Amir Khan and a lot of subscribers too, far more than when I'm insulting him. Y'all don't know shit about growing a YouTube channel. You know, it's understandable, you know what I'm saying? But you might wanna just speak on what you know and leave what you think wherever the fuck. Because this is something that I know. This is something that I know from personal experience. You just commented on a video. You don't know how to grow a YouTube channel. It ain't as easy as it look. You know, go ahead and try. I like to see it. And then now, you know, I'm a racist for saying um, Amir Khan needs to take his ass back to Pakistan. I didn't know where he was born. Like I said, man, I really don't give a fuck. 
Just get the fuck out of America. How many times have y'all heard me say, Pacquiao need to take his ass back to the Philippines? I've said that too. The fuck, man? I think I might have told um, Liam Smith to take his ass back over to the UK. This shit ain't got nothing to do with race, man. This is where you from. I don't look at these fighters for their race. What the fuck do I have to gain by defending a black fighter or, or, or attacking a white fighter for no reason, man? This is my hobby, my passion. You know what I'm saying? I have fun talking about boxing. You know, I ain't you know, here to, to cause no problems and shit. I like to talk shit, but at the same time, I'm entertaining people. Y'all know what I do. I do it intentionally, but I'm not going to get on here and be racist and shit. Once you start being racist, you lose credibility and your word ain't worth shit. So, you know, I'm tired of that racist shit. You know, um, I was riding hard for Triple G. I believed in him. He let me down. So now he's going to receive his punishment. And um, Amir Khan, I was kind of like, you know, supporting him on his channel, whether it's fake or not. You know, I still was supporting him. And, um, you know, whatever, man. But look here. Any one of you motherfuckers come on any one of my videos and call me a racist, I'm blocking you with no questions asked. Automatically. I'm blocking your ass. I don't want to hear that shit. You know, and anybody, this, this other motherfucker, man. Like, he was talking some shit or something about, he disagreed with me about something. And he got to saying, I'm going to boycott your channel and I'm going to do this and that. And I'm like, tell people to, I'm trying to hurt your subscribers and get them to leave your channel and maybe even try to shut your shit down. When you, when you get to coming on here talking that shit, I'm blocking the fuck out of you. You know what I'm saying? There is no coming back from that. You know what I'm saying? You trying to like destroy my channel, even though you can't do it, but still like you going to talk to that. You going to talk like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's over with. And then I blocked him, but somehow his comment had went through, you know, cause I seen it. I just couldn't interact with it. Normally when I block somebody, I block you twice. I block you on YouTube and I block you on Google. I go to YouTube and then I hide all of the, this comment and all of the comments from this person. But then I go to Google Plus on your name and then I block you. Therefore, when you talk, no one can see shit. You are a ghost. You might think you're talking to somebody. You think you're commenting, but nothing is there. Only to you in your eyes. Do you wonder why? It didn't get a like or a comment. I mean, not all of y'all comments going to get likes and comments. That don't mean I'm blocking everybody. I remember I said this one time before and everybody started commenting. Yo, I'm just trying to see if I was blocked. No, man. Look, I'll just be cool. All right. I ain't really blocking everybody, man. It's just like I'm getting fed up. The only people that I have been blocking recently is the people that watch every single one of my videos. And um, I know that they're racist. And they like comment negatively on every single video. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't need that love. I'm not that desperate for comments. You know what I'm saying? And look here, this is another thing, man. Y'all need to be careful. Look, this is my fucking channel. You could talk shit, but you got to like remember that I have the power. You know what I'm saying? Like you could only go so far. If you want to be a part of this community, you could only go so far with the channel owner. Say whatever the fuck you want to say to all of the other people, but when you're talking to me, I can eliminate you. Not racist, all right? But if you call me a racist or try to insinuate that I'm a racist, I'm blocking your ass automatically. And if you direct too many personal insults at me, Simply because of my boxing opinion, you're going to make this personal. I'm talking about Triple G. You're going to make it about me? There's a good chance that you get blocked. You know, before, I didn't really believe in blocking people and shit, man. You know, um, I feel like people should be able to express themselves how they want. But, you know, people are too disrespectful. You know, and I don't have to deal with it. It's like hard enough for me to keep up with all of the comments I get. You know what I'm saying? That's boxing related. Positive or not. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody got to agree with me. You're not going to be, you're not going to be racist towards me. You're not going to like insult me as a person, like my personal life or something like that. You know, it's not going to happen. And it, like I said, it's, it's too hard for me to keep track of all of the comments as it is. So for me to just keep trolls around, 
Yeah, you know, it's good for sparking debates sometimes. You know, that's why I kind of like to leave trolls in the comments because then they can debate back and forth. You don't want to have a bunch of people that agree with each other, but you know, that's never going to happen anyways because even if two people agree on the outcome of a fight, they might disagree on how to end or it's just like people think differently regardless, even if they picking the same fighter, you know, they might not be picking the same fighter to win a different fight, you know, but I try to leave trolls around for different reasons, but at this point, I don't need any trolls on my channel. So, I'm going to get ready to close this video off, but I just want to say it one more time. You know, you you turn um, a boxing conversation into, like, um, personal insults and shit, I'm blocking you. You accuse me of being racist when well, you know I'm not, because you could probably remember when I was supporting the fighter that I'm dissing, Triple G, Amir Khan, and so on. Accuse me of being a racist. I'm blocking you. No warning. Insult me personally. You know, I'm blocking you. I don't care. It's my channel. I do whatever I want to do. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a cool fucking with you. I got a cool fucking with you.